I've been in the studio since 2015. I moved into the space after graduating from Yale School of Art. I'm here pretty much all the time. The supplies that I have here are all the different artifacts of my practice. I keep all these materials and this is really like my palette. Old pieces of packing material, old headscarf. It's really just all the different kind of textiles that come into my life or into my studio. A lot of the works are made from works that were previously made, works that are reworked. It really allows for each work to be connected in its odd way because one material that was used in a previous work can be used years in the future. Even if I buy a yard of fabric, it literally takes me years to use all of it because I'm only really using scraps and bits and pieces of the material. I describe it as being collage. I describe it as being assemblage, mainly because I'm using objects that are of the world. And with them being of the world, a lot of the characteristics of the material is retained. People have associations with those textures, with the colors, maybe in their own personal lives. And I think they bring some of that sentimentality to the works when they are in front of them. This is one of the new works that I'm making for the ICA Boston show. I wanted to describe this domestic space through using kind of objects that I think people kind of really associate with the home. So a lamp, the end table, even here, which hasn't been, it's been drawn, but it hasn't been stitched yet with the chandelier. The stitch has two functions. It has a utilitarian function of allowing all the disparate aspects of the painting to be held together. But I'm also able to draw with the sewing machine and like further articulate the figure spaces and just other kind of like different details in the works. The figures in my works, I think about them sometimes as characters, sometimes as subjects. They're all imagined people and imagined scenarios. And sometimes too, the figures are less characters and less subjects and more like avatars or icons. They are meant to kind of hold and retain overarching ideas about a particular kind of lived experience. A work that I would consider to be more of like an avatar would be a painting like Pant. Her third leg is meant to be kind of a phantom appendage, which speaks more to part of her personality rather than like a realistic dimension of her physical form. So she's not built in any kind of logical way. I think that she's more meant to embody this kind of feminine machismo. As a storyteller, I want to develop like round figures. Some work speak to the unconscious elements of my subjects and some speak to like their like tangible reality. Right now, I'm starting to work more simultaneously on my sculptural practice, thinking about ways in which those works can be installed in spaces with the paintings and create kind of different and alternative narratives than I've done in the past. So even though this figure is in the round, I still feel like this very much connected to the paintings because in, in kind of making it, I use plaster gauze, which is another kind of form of textile. So they have a lot of the kind of patchwork aesthetic that's also in the painting. Some works start from sketches and some works just come from me building slowly, allowing for the materials just to build on one another and then imagining back into those objects, like how they could function as part of the form or part of the figure. It's just me kind of reworking those materials to create the new images and new narratives. Mm -hmm.